Hello everyone, we're here outside Donato's Enoteca and I'm going to take you inside and introduce you to the executive chef, Donato Scotti. He can cook a meal in under 10 minutes and he's all about just home cooking and spending time in the kitchen with your family. So I hope we'll learn a lot from him. See you soon. Hello everyone, we're here at Donato's Enoteca in Redwood City with Donato Scotti, executive chef and owner. He's been kind enough to join us today and show us how he cooks something very simple. He's also a father of three and he grew up in Italy, so I hope he's going to tell us some stories about how he learned to cook. Donato, I'd like to introduce you to 28,000 international students who are also learning how to cook for their families. So welcome and thank you for taking the time thank to be with us. Thank you. I don't think I've ever met 28,000 people <laughs> at once, but uh, nice to meet you all. And uh, tell us, Donato, one question. How did you start cooking when you were little? Um, I have always had a very healthy appetite growing up and uh, when I was in the summer of who knows what year it was, but I, I fall in love with this bread making uh, uh, company in my small town and uh, the guy that owned the offered me a little job delivering bread and I was only 13 Delivered at the time. on your bicycle, yes, right? Yes, oh, yes, nice. yes, yes, yes. It's like, it seems like one of those stories that people made up, but it actually happened to me. At 16, while I was attending chef school, because I fall in love with the bread making and uh, the whole food thing, and really fall in love with what is all about food in general. What so, are we making today? Well, we're we making just a couple of things that are very quick, that uh, they, they can be easily made in the same time that it takes you to go through a drive through anywhere in... Uh, in, in, uh, in this area. So we're just going to make a little pasta okay. with fresh tomato and then we're going to make a, what, what is called a traditional uh, salad in Italy. is a caprese salad, which is a tomato and mozzarella salad. One of my favorites. Delicious. So we're just going to start by tossing the pasta in the water for one. So, and this is basically, it could be enough for one or to share maybe for two people. When you put the pasta in, and the water has to be boiling, please. You want to put salt in as well. Uh, don't, my mom always told me don't put the salt earlier because it takes longer for the water to boil. What you need is olive oil, tomatoes, a little bit of garlic and a little bit of fresh basil. All stuff that you can pick up at Whole Food or uh, any of your uh, normal uh, grocery store. So a little olive oil. Remember always stir the pasta. Make sure it doesn't get stuck together. We're gonna chop one tomato up. Oh, la la, that was quick. <laughs> trying to teach the students that it's all about not being perfect and being Oh, absolutely, right? absolutely. It's all about the ingredient, not about being perfect. Get good ingredient, organic tomatoes, good olive oil, and you'll be very happy with the result. Maybe smash a little piece of garlic so that we get a little bit of the flavoring and just toss it inside the oil with a little bit of low heat, we let the uh, garlic cook. And then when the garlic is uh, starting to brown, we can actually take it out if we don't want the flavor of the garlic because you have to go to class and you got some, you know. Big date. Exactly, <laughs> big date or... In the meanwhile, we're gonna make a little salad. We're gonna slice the tomato in slice. We just go very simple, okay? Now, the garlic start to brown. We'll take the garlic out because, and then we use all of the chopped tomatoes that we chopped before, even just a little bit of the little water that is there is fine as well. And you know, I mean, the tomato just chop in fairly big pieces, lower the heat, we we'll put a little salt. Especially now that the tomato season is uh, starting, is starting to come along, and uh, you know you're gonna get good tomatoes at the market, and uh, you can make that one, which is very qu a quick, very quick sauce, and also you can make this salad. Now we grab a mozzarella, one of those that you can find in your store. It could be a, a, a buffalo milk mozzarella or even a, a regular type of mozzarella. And a little oregano. We tear a little bit of fresh basil on top. And by the way, guys, he has done this in under five minutes so far. <laughs> this is the fastest yep. meal I've ever seen. And then you have a drizzle of olive oil. And then, if you like, I mean, you can have a little bit of a rock salt. If you find black one, white one, uh, 
I use the volcanic rock salt, but definitely a white, the, the regular white salt is totally fine as well. What's going on with the tomato? They're releasing their juices. At this point, uh, I think they're ready. I don't want to cook them too much. The same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fresh, to uh, fresh basil as well here. And we can probably toss some oregano as well that we use for the caprese as well. We checked that the pasta is ready. Now, this is a little thing that I was taught when I was little, you know. When I first started working in uh, this professional kitchen, they said, grab one spaghetto, tear it in half, taste it. I mean, this is a little too crunchy for most of people, but, you know, I like it al dente. Uh, in order to be perfect, it has to be a little white dot still in the middle, which it still has. It still has a couple of minutes to go. Now, if the sauce starts getting dry, we just add a little bit of the cooking water and we just let the tomato cook. And this is pasta that you can find in any stores. I mean, you can go to Whole Food, find uh, the Checo brand or find some artisan pasta. You can strain it or you can pick it out of the water. I'm gonna go ahead and strain it right here. And leave some of the cooking water in the, with the tomatoes and then you toss it. You don't have to toss it like I do because the first hundred times I tried to do that, I made a mess. <laughs> Let the juices of the tomato finish cooking the pasta. Let's get a little more water in there. Hopefully. And then you just let it sit, simmer for a few minutes inside the sauce. And you want to finish it always with some good olive oil. Now, if you like cheese on top, you can put some uh, sprinkle sal uh, parmigiano. One of the most important things about cooking pasta is to make sure that you no, don't overcook it in the, in, the, in the water and you let it finish in the sauce. That will make the pasta more uh, easy, easier to digest. And if you cook overcooked pasta, you're not going to get the, the texture of the real experience that you should have uh, when you eat pasta. Instead, you'll end up having with some uh, mushy noodles, which is definitely not what the way it's supposed to be. Now, you, as you can see, the tomatoes are starting to fall completely apart. The sauce is starting to stick with the, with the pasta. Now, this I made as if I was e going to eat it. What do you do? Just put it on a plate. You know, I think it's a perfect uh, warm weather uh, couple of dishes that can get you plenty of uh, energy and nutrition that you need during the day and just stay away from those fast food plates. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank Tom. you very much. What a beautiful meal. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.